Hey guys, it's Daniel. Welcome back. The following is a clip from one of my interviews with Nirvana producer Steve Albini. If you want to see the full interview, the link is available in the description box below. All the interviews on my channel are original. I'm the one arranging them by myself. The best way to help me continue to make these videos is to subscribe to the channel. So, you know, with all this said, with, you know, the issue with the different mixing, in 2013, when, you know, you got to go back to the vaults and do the deluxe edition with the band, how was that experience for you? The best thing that I can say about that experience, that experience was great. Like getting to rekindle my friendship with Chris Novoselic and getting to spend time with Chris and Dave and Pat, like that experience was great. Mm -hmm. And hearing those original recordings again was immensely satisfying because, you know, just listening to the playback of the final tape, the final mixes of the original session, I was so satisfied with all the decisions that we'd made. And I was very pleased that the sound quality was as good as I remembered it being. And, you know, and I was very pleased that we were getting a, getting a chance to see it through in a manner that wouldn't have, wasn't possible in the nineties, you know, yeah. granted Nirvana were a very big band in the nineties, but they were also one of a couple of dozen records that came out that month. <clears throat> so, they weren't going to get the kind of specific intimate attention that you could lavish on a record that you knew had a, an, an audience waiting and, and where you knew that the, the, the cost was not going to be an obstacle, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I have to give the band credit here. They asked my opinion about what would be the best way to do a reissue for the record. And I said, mm -hmm. go to the original master tapes use the best possible cutting technique for the vinyl master, which is the DMM process. And my suggestion was to do it at Abbey Road, where I had oh. had very good results mastering records over the years. And to have me supervise the cut, and if possible, to do it as an expanded double disc 12-inch 45 and they went for all of it. They said, yep, let's do it. Let's do all of that stuff. And I honestly don't know how to do it better. Like if, if somebody said, what steps would you take to make the best possible master from a recording that you've done? Mm -hmm. I would say, let's do all of these steps in this way. And Nirvana did all of those steps in that way. And they went to bat for that process with the record label I don't know what the record label would have originally been prepared to do, mm -hmm. but um, the band went to bat for that method and they made it clear that that would be, that's how they wanted to proceed. And the results speak for themselves. I think that's the best sounding record that I've ever been associated with in terms of it's the sound quality of the record as it relates to the sound quality of the master material. Like if you play the double 12 inch deluxe edition of that record at home, you are hearing as close to what we heard in the studio as it is possible to get. Really? 